Welcome back, family. It is that time of the day again. It's morning. I hope you had your cup of joe. You're hanging out with Mo, and we're going to have a live stream today at 1.15 Eastern Time p.m. Folks, it's going to be crazy live streaming and trading like we did yesterday. Made uh, Well, by the end of the day, I was up over $1,000. I did a big, big run online, then I got off, did a few more trades. It was a good day. But now we're going to see if we can do it again today. But did you see some of the stocks out there blowing up? Did you see DWAC? DWAC in the house running up. We're going to look at that one today. Take a look at my opinion on the DWAC, DWAC stock price prediction. Man, that went through the roof. We're going to look at the markets too. A lot of people telling us they expect a major crash uh, be it whatever reasons. Could be the commercial real estate market drags the whole economy down. Could be a, a number, of, could be weather related, could be election related, could be whatever. But at the end of the day, I'm going to give you my opinion. And what I, I, I taught you this, trust the charts and you'll do fine. If you trust the lines, you'll do just fine. My friends, the bread recipe is here. We're going to talk a little bit about some of the plays, the markets and stuff like that as well. All kinds of stuff going on. Uh, the big thing, if, you, if you're not joining me over at the StockMo Patreon right now, uh, I got the new portfolio out, the $100,000 portfolio, aggressive, up 33.1. Well, that's based on what's in there. It's up $16,000 in the last three weeks. That's what I'm talking about. I've uh, got a few options in there, a few stocks, a few shorts, uh, and I'm going to continue to make moves throughout the week. We're going to have big winners, big losers. This is high aggressive. These are put call options. These are going to be big winners, big losers. We're going to find out, but if you want to follow along, see how it does, come on over, support the channel, click the Stock Mo Patreon down below, and you can join us there. And then, of course, if you want to come over to the Stock Squad, you can hang out with all four of us over there. Uh, and that link's down there as well. But the big thing, if you haven't done it, join the course today. Code CASH, C-A-S-H. You get lifetime membership to the course, lifetime membership to this course Discord, which is separate from the stock mowing. Uh, and, of course, you say big with that code CASH. I would highly recommend it. That expires in February, I think the second week of February. So take advantage of it before it does. Now, let's look at a few things out there. And you know what? Let's start with the markets. I want to start with the markets today. Take a look at this, just crazy run all over the place. You're seeing green across the board, Russell flying up 2%, VIX dropping, and then we come down. It looks like Christmas, red and green everywhere. Tesla's down, Neo's down. And if somebody asked me about that, and I said, look, all the Chinese EVs are getting crushed. They're all getting hammered together. It's not just Neo, it's all of them. Uh, you got Tesla falling, uh, and this is when the markets are running. Take a look at the last, uh, I'd say, what do we got? Last month on Tesla, down 18.63%. How's the NASDAQ doing? Is the NASDAQ down 18.3%? No, it's up 1.9. What about the S&P 500? Are they down? Up 1.59. Folks, there's something going on out there. Uh, in my opinion, 1.9 for the NASDAQ. It, it's ugly for the EVs, all right? And you're hearing of this glut, just huge amount of supply that needs to be worked through. You're seeing price cuts, which we know hits margins. You're seeing all these things, and it could continue to get uglier before it gets better. And so that's one of the things you're seeing. You're seeing a lot of, uh, is the worldwide economy gonna slow down? What's going on there? If you look at a lot of the red flags out there, oil prices are absolutely collapsing down. You're seeing oil stocks getting crushed down. All of these things are happening. I mean, you go out there and you look into this, it's ugly. And that's one of the things I am concerned about and I will be looking into. Now, we did have a little reprieve. TMF had a little bit of goodness today. The 30-year Treasury did fall two basis points, which was good. And we will see. But how's the greed chart? How'd that look? I haven't even looked at this in a while. Let's take a look at it together. Pull it up, see what's happening. Yes, the greed. The greed is there. I thought we'd get all the way up into the 80s in the extreme greed and then crash the market. Did not happen. We had a little bit of a pullback, but man, it's it's clicking back up. It's trying to get up to the extreme greed. Will we? I don't know. That's why we depend on the charts. That's why we come in and use the bread recipe. We want to know for sure how this thing's going to play out. So we got the spy here, had some levels of support I had drawn. And you can see we come out here. Last time we were up this high, all the way back, we're talking... Whoa, January of 2022 was the last time we were here. Look where we are now all the way up there. Family, not only did we surpass that, 
we moved a lot higher. Now, is this going to be an ultimate double top where we crash down to levels that are obscene? I don't know. I don't got answers for people. I can tell you this. If you come over and look, we topped out here roughly 479. And if you come all the way down, that was January. By the time we hit into October, 10 months later, we were all the way down to 355. You're talking 20 something percent clip off of that top. Are we gonna have the same situation now? Or are we gonna continue to see better days ahead and more gains in this market? I want you to know, looking at this chart, the RSI is up at 66 point, make that 68.48, close to that 75 level that is extremely overbought. We are close, so it does have room to run up a little bit. I'm letting you know. We are close to the Bollinger Band. So the RSI and the Bollinger Band, it's telling me what? Well, we're, we're getting a little overpriced. We need some consolidation on this. So I would expect to see a little pullback, but what was the catalyst? Well, the government got their act together, went out there and got that budget done, pushed the can down the road a little bit, and that's where we're looking at. Now, the odds of a rate cut, that's the other thing. We got a lot of things to look at. So right now, the S&P 500, a little overbought, but still bullish. I'm a little nervous about that, though. I'm not going to lie to you. A couple of the plays I'm looking at out there, I'm using the bread recipe. As the market goes higher, we have to be careful. We got to make sure we're in the right moves, take advantage of this, of this trend, but at the same time, be very, very, very on our toes and make sure we understand that it could switch quickly. Now, one of the things I did, and I did share this in the other video, but for the morning people that don't watch that one, I got out a half of my, uh, not that one, got out a half of FNGU right here, sold half yesterday, late, late, late in the day. I wanted to get out of that. Uh, you can see how high we are up here, 68 basically, same thing on the Bollinger, Bollinger Band. And then the big one, the other one, which was even higher, look at this. This is up at 73.55 on the Bollinger Band for TECL. I got out of half of those as well. And if it starts to drop, uh, I have numbers in my own head that if it gets down there, I'm just gonna sell, take the rest as profit. So I wanted to get out on top, you know, buy low, which we did sell high even back in look at this when we drop below 50 uh ema we are down to 58.20 look where we're at today 70s 70s that's the kind of money i like to make and that's the kind of money we did make even over the last three days alone uh you were trading at 65 now it's all the way up to 75 basically so you were looking at ten dollars a pop or around 15 percent which is a very nice gain uh, so it was good. It was a good run. We had a good run. So I want to lock in some gains on this and take those gains. Remember, the average, and people lose track of this. I don't know if you think about this, but the average gain in the S&P 500, since they moved to 500 companies in the S&P 500, is roughly 10%. That's annualized. I think it's back to World War II, maybe. I don't even know when they did that, 1950s, 1960s. But since then, the average gain is 10% a year. That is crazy. And so when you see me come out here and tell you, hey, I made 10% over the last three days on this play when it was a 65, now it's a 75, that's, whoa, that's 15%. Yeah, it's a year and a half of gains in a matter of just three days. So, and why do we do it? Because we use the bread recipe. Now the recipe teaches us what? The RSI is overcooked. We don't wanna burn our profits. So we take that out and we wrap it up and we make sure we're taking advantage of it. A couple of them that we did cash in on, Lee, uh, uh, the Lee put options did very well. We got out of them. I should have rolled them into even further and made even more money. Uh, Xpeng, I wanted to show you these Chinese EV stocks are all crashing. Look at, they're in the severe Xpeng. I have this one shorted, massive gains. I think I'm up 20 to 30% on the short and I only had it for a few days, like two or three weeks, just massive gains. I'm going to lock in some of them now because look where we are in the uh, the RSI. Way oversold right here. Way, 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 way oversold. Uh, we still finished down though. Even though you see green candles, you see the gap down. It started here, closed up. So it ended up down for the day, but still lower from the day before. So I'm going to be looking at getting out of some of these. And of course, NEO, people always ask about NEO. Yeah, NEO's following suit, just selling off. 13, I warned you back here, 13 crossing. You do not want to touch this. 
five crossing the 50, 13 crossing the 50, expect a big run down, we got it. So I'm going to be playing a lot more of these kind of plays. And in terms of if they're running up, if we have a nice bull run, I'm going to take advantage of it. If we have a huge downturn, I'm going to try to take advantage of it. And examples, not everything's put, so you can see some of the calls here. You got Cisco, 13 just crossed right here. You would have got in about a day before because you see the 13 coming up. What happens on that day it crossed? Boom, huge run. What do you expect after that crossing? Huge gap up. That's exactly what we got. Family, what I teach over at the course is absolute fire. You want to come over and learn how to do it? I suggest doing it today. Every day you wait and do not have this skill set in your tool chest, I think you're missing out. Use code CASH down below, C-A-S-H. And if you want to see some of the plays I'm getting with that bread recipe, come on over to the Stockmo Patreon as well. That's what I got for you today. I appreciate you stopping by. Let's get out there and make some money.